Hello, and welcome to Qmetrix 19.04 New Features Introduction. Today we will focus on the new functionalities that have been added to our wallboards. The most eye-catching addition is the new table widget that replaces and expands upon the old table widgets. The first thing we notice is that these tables are now sortable in descending and ascending order based on whichever field we may choose. The second important aspect of these new tables is that we can now choose which columns we want to show so that we can focus more on the information that is important to us. This feature will also allow you to choose the order of these columns. Of course, you may still choose to show all of them by deleting all the filters. We also added three new table widgets, aggregated by queue, aggregated by tag, and agent and outcome. You should already be familiar with these widgets as they are already present in the old real-time page. Talking about features from the wallboard, it is now possible to execute agent actions and call actions, the same way that a supervisor was able to from the real-time page. Let's take a look at these new actions. To open the agent actions, Right click to open the context menu and select agent actions. Here we can select one of the following actions, add member to queue, remove member from queue, pause agent and unpause agent. By filling in the rest of the information based on the action we want to perform, we will be able to, for example, add an agent to a queue, in this case, agent 200. In the same way, to open the call actions, we need to make sure that there is at least one call going on. Then right click and open the context menu and select on call actions. Here, we see a table of the current calls. We can select a call, select an action that can be hang up the call, monitor the call or transfer the call. Fill in the relevant information. and then execute the action. As you may have noticed, now we also can filter the widgets by selecting more than one queue at the same time. This will allow you to further customize the widget in your wallboard by assigning them to different queue combinations. This is also very useful if you want to divide your widgets between inbound and outbound queues in case of a multi-directional call center. The wallboard now sports a brand new WebRTC soft phone. This soft phone was designed with simplicity in mind, allowing supervisors to have an extension to monitor calls and to make the occasional call easily from within the wallboard. For example, we can input an extension number here and make a call. As soon as the call is answered, we can then hang it up or put it on hold. Of course, this extension can also receive incoming calls to the registered extension number. If we want to configure this cell phone settings, we can go here to the phone settings icon set the username and the password for the extension and even some advanced options. For more information about the WebRTC software and how to install it and configure it, please head to our online Qmetrix blog where you can find updated tutorials. Finally, by very popular demand, a new widget has been added to the wallboard. This widget is of very simple structure and monitors an agent individually. This allows you to see various information about the selected agent. In particular, we have three items of information. They are the number of taken calls, the average talk time for the agent, and the total talk time for the agent. 
This information is key to monitor your agent's performance, especially if paired with the live agent information widget that was already present. This is all regarding the new Wallboard features. Make sure you request a demo through our Qmetrics homepage at qmetrics.com. Thank you for watching.